do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so friends this is the numerical which is based on avogadro's number or in which we could be using avogadro's number so as we can see that they have given us that we have to calculate the number of atoms of hydrogen nitrogen carbon and oxygen which is present in 5.6 uh, gram of urea and the molecular formula of urea is also being mentioned here as well as the uh, uh, molar mass of urea is on, also being mentioned that is uh, 60 gram per mole and from this thing we have to estimate such data so we'll make it very easy because it is actually a very easy work if we know that how to do it so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to estimate that what will be the number of moles of the urea if 5.6 gram of urea is provided to us so the first thing is that we know that uh, if 5.6 gram of urea has been provided we could easily calculate the uh, number of moles how we know that the number of moles of urea that is i'm talking about n of urea will be weight of urea divided by the molecular mass of urea that they have given to us so the weight that is given to us is 5.6 and the molar mass and that is 5.6 gram while that of the molar mass of urea is again given as uh, 60 gram per mole so if I calculate this thing, I could easily estimate that what would be the number of moles of, um, uh, of urea uh, in 5.6 gram. So basically I have got 0 0.093 mole of urea is present in 5.6 gram of urea so this is the number of mole uh, that we have got or we have in in the form of 5.6 gram of urea so in that case we have to calculate what would be the number of mole of uh, the hydrogen atoms or what would be the number of mole of uh, nitrogen and carbon and oxygen atom, oxygen atom. so let us do it uh, uh, in a sequence so this is the number of mole that we have got and now Suppose we have uh, we have to get uh, that what will be the number of moles of uh, hydrogen atom in ammonia, oh, sorry in urea. So we know that uh, one mole of urea. That is when I am talking about urea. That is NH two, CO NH two. So in this case when I am talking about uh, hydrogen that is what we have to calculate so I could see that one mole of uh, uh, urea contains around four atoms of uh, hydrogen so therefore this is the number of hydrogen atom that we could get that is in one mole of uh, urea I get basically four mole or gram atom of hydrogen. So now what I could calculate it as suppose if I get four moles of hydrogen so we have that is if one mole of urea has four mole of hydrogen then what we have is 0 0.093 mole of urea will again have four mole of hydrogen but the thing is we have to calculate the number of atoms so therefore it will have four mole of hydrogen that is true but one mole of any substance will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particle of that substance are in the form of uh, atom molecule or whatever we need to uh, estimate so in this case there are four mole of hydrogen and one mole of hydrogen contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of hydrogen so in this case if I calculate this thing what I could get is I've got two point 4092 into 10 raised to 24 but that is for one uh, mole 
that is for one mole of uh, uh, hydrogen atom but what we have is we have 0 0.093 mole so what we have to do is we have to again multiply this thing by that is 0 0.093 moles and then what we could get is we could easily get that is we have 2.24 into 10 raised to 23 atoms which are being present in 0.093 mole of urea so this is how we have calculated what we have did is the first thing that we have did we know that one mole of urea will contain four mole of hydrogen atom so therefore it means it will contain 4 into 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of hydrogen when we are talking about one mole but when we are talking about 0.093 mole that means we should have 4 into 6.022 into 10 to 23 atoms multiplied by 0.93 because we have to calculate the number of moles in this uh, uh, moles this quantity of mole so we have got 2.24 into 10 to 23 atoms of hydrogen so the first data that we have calculated is for hydrogen now we can move for the second one that is again I would write it in a very clearly that is one mole of uh, urea As you know the formula that is NH2 CO NH2 in this case we could see that there are two gram atoms or there are two moles of uh, nitrogen so what would be the number of atom if we calculate then if we calculate then we will use the Avogadro number that is 2 into 6.023 because for one mole it will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 uh, atoms of nitrogen but what we have we have is 0 0.093 mole of urea so again in that case what would be the number of moles the number of moles will be 2 into 0 0.093 moles of uh, nitrogen but one mole of nitrogen will contain 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles or in this case what I am calculating is I am calculating atoms of nitrogen so now see uh, let's uh, see what will be the answer of it so what we have got is we have got 1.12 into 10 raised to 23 that is atoms of nitrogen So this is how we have calculated for nitrogen and the thing is uh, which is left with us is uh, what would be the number of particles or what would be the number of atoms of carbon in urea again we'll do another one that is for one mole of urea if we calculate for carbon and we know the formula of urea as NH2CO NH2 so in this case what we have found it out as in urea there is only one mole of carbon or one gram atom of uh, carbon so i could write it as one mole of urea contains that is one mole of carbon it contains one mole of carbon so if it contains one mole of carbon then the number of moles of uh, urea that we have we have around 0 0.093 mole of urea So it will contain the same that is one uh, mole multiplied by 0 0.093 so this is what we have uh, we will get the number of moles of uh, the uh, carbon which is present in one mole of uh, urea but we have to calculate the number of particles or the number of uh, atoms of carbon atom so what we are going to do is because as we know that one mole of carbon atom will contain around 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 atoms of carbon so for 0 0.093 it will be 0 0.093 into 6.023 into 10 raised to 23 atoms so what i'm going to do i will calculate this thing and let us see what is the answer that we could get So we have got as 
into 10 raised to 22 atoms of carbon. So this is what we have got and the last one that we have to calculate is we have to calculate what will be the number of mole of oxygen and again it would be very much simple to analyze because it will be very much easy but still we'll try to do that that is if one mole of urea contains because as we know the formula that is NH2CO, NH2 for urea so therefore there is only one mole of uh, oxygen that it contains so therefore for 0 0.093 mole of urea it will have 1 into that is 0 0.093 mole of oxygen uh, but we have to calculate the number of particles or the number of atoms so what we are going to do is because one mole contains 6.022 into 10 raised to 23 particles of the atom so therefore we'll get again the same answer that we have did uh, early that is we will get 5.60 into 10 raised to 22 atoms of of oxygen in this case which is present in 0.093 mole of urea or basically 5.6 gram of urea so this is the answer that we have calculated such a long and such a vast uh, numerical that we have did but the main thing that we should know is we should able to calculate this kind of uh, numerical or this kind of answer by using the particular formula of Avogadro law uh, and Avogadro's number so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have liked this video and you have understood how to solve this kind of numerical so share this with your friends and yes don't forget to subscribe ekeda channel thank you so much